What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look at the recruitment app. The most important part of building an impressive company is attracting and hiring talent. Odoo provides a system that allows human resources department to manage their recruitment tasks efficiently, eliminating repetitive administrative tasks. The hiring process can be broken down into actionable steps. Here at Stealthy Wood, we prepare a job description, advertise the position, review applications, conduct interviews, and eventually make an offer to a superstar candidate. We use the recruitment app to perform all of these tasks, and we've been able to increase productivity, streamline data collection from candidates, and meet our hiring targets. Today, we'll go over the recruitment flow from adding a job position to hiring a candidate and seeing how this all works. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here's my main recruitment app dashboard with an overview of our various job positions. Each card tells me if the job is published, how many applications it has, how many new applications it has, how many job positions we need to fill, and if there are any late activities that need to be taken care of. I can also filter job positions by department by clicking any of these departments here on the left-hand side. Now, let's review some features that make our talent search more efficient. To do that, we're gonna to go to configuration and then settings. Here, I have my online posting setting enabled, which allows job listings to be published on our website. Keep in mind, to publish and edit job descriptions, you need to have both the recruitment and website apps installed. Next here on the right, we have the job board option. Currently, Odoo can post to monster.com and I've configured my credentials right here below. And below that, I've enabled my send interview survey option, which allows me to send a customized test or questionnaire to further screen my applicants. And if I want, I can progress them through the pipeline. But more on that on a different tutorial. And if you haven't downloaded the survey app already, Enabling this option will install the app for you. Here on the right, I've enabled the option to have applicants' resumes displayed on their application form. And under that, I have a, the ability to set a limit for how long salary packages request are valid for. And as you can see, I've set this to 30 days. Here at the bottom section, this is what you need credits for. You can manage and buy credits to send applicants text messages by clicking manage services and buy credits. And last but not least here, there is an option about digitizing resumes. This allows me to extract the name, email address, and cell phone number of applicants directly from their resumes and import them to the applicant card, which means less typing for me. Don't forget to save any changes you make on the setting pages by clicking save. Now let's return to the recruitment dashboard by clicking on applications and then by job positions. I'm gonna show you our recruitment process using this carpenter position as an example. And I can see that I have two new applications. When I click into this new applications button, I'm greeted with the Kanban view with all of our applicants in their respective stages. These recruitment stages are fully customizable as explained in our documentation. And even better, we can edit stages to send automatic emails. Let's add another automatic email. This time we're gonna use the first interview stage. To do that, we're gonna click the gear icon, followed by edit. Now in the stage name, we have first interview by default. And for this email template, we're just going to select our recruitment schedule and interview email template. Now with that in place, when I move an applicant to the first interview stage, an email will automatically be sent to them, asking them to schedule an interview based on the availability of the interviewer. How amazing is that? These other options here are unrelated to this particular stage, but if I wanted to, we could fold this stage here with this fold in Kanban option. All we'd have to do is tick that box. And I could also indicate if this is a hired stage, which means the candidate was hired. And of course, to activate that, all I'd have to do is tick that checkbox there. Below that, we have our job specific field. If this stage is specific to a certain job position, I could select the job position here. And it would only appear for that particular job position. An example of that it would be is if we created a stage to test a specific skill. Let's say we have a carpentry position for our location in Mexico City, and we wanted to give them a Spanish exam. We could create a stage for that and make it specific to only the Mexico City carpenter position. But this looks fine. So we're just gonna click save and close. 
For Odoers with the Studio app installed, you can also configure automations like reminding hiring managers to follow up with an offer within five days. To do that, I'm going to move over to our contract proposal stage, click the gear icon once again, but this time we're going to click automations. When I do that, that takes me to the automation rules dashboard. To make an automated action, all we have to do is click the new button here in the upper left hand corner. The trigger and related stage are automatically filled in, but can be modified. To configure the action that happens, I'll click add an action. And in the type field, I'm going to select create activity. Then in the activity type, I'm going to select to do, and I'll write a short description for this task, and it'll be follow up. And we're going to make this due in five days. And since I want this to always be assigned to our human resources manager, Maggie, I'm going to make sure that user type is set to specific user. And below that, in the responsible field, we're going to select Maggie. Now, whenever an applicant moves to the contract proposal stage, Maggie will have a to-do assigned to her where she'll follow up on the contract proposal within five business days. Now, with all that taken care of, I just need to save this by clicking Save and Close, and we can see this action is now created. Now, let's see all of this in action by going back to our Applications page. And we're going to work with our new applicant here, Kelly Walnut. From here, I can click her card and view her resume directly below. And I like what I see, so I'm going to move her to the initial qualification stage. And if I scroll down, I can see that an automatic acknowledgement email was sent. Her application looks great, so we're going to move her to the first interview stage. And when we look down, we can see that the email to schedule an interview was sent. Okay, let's go back to the applications page. And let's say our interview went well, so we can drag and drop her to the second interview stage. And let's say that interview went even better, so we're going to offer her the job and drag and drop her card into contract proposal. When she's moved into contract proposal, we see this green check mark appear on her card, indicating that there's a to-do activity. When we click that icon, we can see that Maggie has an activity due in five days. So let's click into this card once again to offer her the job. All we have to do is click Generate Offer, followed by Send by Email. And then all we have to do is click Send. As the offer is being signed, these status indications on the stages will move. So let's click back to the applicant page. And now we can see on Kelly's card that there's a smart button that appears for offers. And let's say everyone signed the contract and Maggie has marked her activity as done. So we'll just put mark this as done. And then we're going to put Kelly here in the contract sign stage. And when we do, a hired banner appears. Welcome to the team, Kelly. And that's it for this video on recruitment. Today we learned how our job positions are organized and presented, how to edit our stages, add automatic actions, and go through the recruitment flow. Tune into our other recruitment tutorials where we'll dive deep into customized interview forms, adding applicants in detail, sharing jobs with trackable links, recruitment reporting, and more. Till next time, happy recruiting.